Hello everyone, Sarah here. And today we are doing another submission for Splash of Pain's IKEA Hack Challenge. So we are at the location where we did this couch, right? And today we are going to do this. Now, it's easy to stack a bunch of chests, but the neat thing about this particular unit that we're going to do is, as you can see, we don't have the gapping between our chests like you do when you do the wooden chests and stack it. So let's get started. The trick to this method is to use our table. So we're going to place uh, however many you need. I'm going to do three. And I am in creative mode. So we're going to stack three up. We're going to try to get them fairly well lined up. Needs to come over just a smidge. There we go. That looks pretty good. So we're gonna get our our tables lined up, and then we are going to place our um, regular wooden chests. And we're gonna do three. You can fit three easily underneath here. If you scooted them in, you might get more. But I found three is a pretty good, pretty good number. So you line up your chests, and then, surprisingly, even though you can see the top of the chest, you can place another chest on top of it. So you slide your chests in on top of each other like this. And you can make this, obviously, as high as you need, as wide as you need. Like so. There we go. And then to cover up the ends of your chest or your um, your shelving unit, you're going to take your wood wall, and you are going to shift place this into position. Um, I like to slide it so that the edges are kind of all the little tabs on the wooden wall are kind of hidden and the um, ends of the table are hidden oh that one poked through afterwards that's weird all right let's do it again uh pull it forward tabs are hidden interesting okay we're not going to worry about that right now and so then just hide the ends of the table like that and then put it whatever framing you want for the one that you see here I just did some wood beams on the ends and then I put a second set of um, beams up on top but I pulled it forward a bit so I'm going to place one down let's do it back here it'll get easier place one down and then we're going to do the whole uh, end thing and we're going to use the end thing to maybe pull it forward a little bit no that didn't really work Oh, sorry, the safe lag there. Pull the pull it forward a little bit so that it gives you a little bit of hangover. So you can add decorations there. Again, as I've done, I've said in the past, a lot of this stuff is, you know, just for decorations. It's not necessary. Let's move this one back just a smidge. Um, I just kind of like adding a little bit of. A little bit of something something to the to the builds and then we can put this on here anyway you get the point I'm just gonna put these on here just so I can show you and then I took and 
use the uh, edge to kind of get this the, the height of the sides like this right and then I just decorated it up a little bit but as you can see it really is a nice compact tight storage unit and that is my second submission for the Splash of Pains IKEA Hack Challenge. Have a good one. Bye.